Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Wimbledon back out of another video. In today's video, I am here in Overwatch 2 to start um, sort of my journey in Season 10, I suppose. Season 10 came out yesterday. Um, it is the Mirror Watch season. Um, in this video, I kind of just want to take a look at the Battle Pass and. For anybody who mystically has not already found out how the Mythic Shop works, I just want to explain that as well. So, if you like this, hit like, button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live. I'm going to upload all that good stuff. And yeah, so for the Battle Pass itself, we have a good few skins. We have Strike Commander for Doomfist, which you can see kind of has that like old school Overwatch look to him. Like the blue and the white for the arm. We have a Highland intro for Junker Queen, which looks really cool. We get tokens as per usual. We get Rosetta, an emo for our news character Venture. Pretty cool. We get our first batch of Mythic Prisms, which I'll come back to those in a moment. Mercy and Vengeance. Which is an interesting spray. And then we have 200 Overwatch coins, which we now get coins in the Battle Pass. We have the all important Winton souvenir. We have the Bookworm Highland intro for Weaver, or Life Weaver. We have an emote for our Victory Pose for Lucille, which actually looks kind of cool with this skin. And we have more prisms. We have a skin for Symmetra, a Junker skin, which Honestly, it doesn't look horrible. Not, still not a fan of Symmetra, but Swagger Emote, which I assume is Traversal for Doomfist. We have a Spray for Brigitte. We have more Prisms. The Longhorn Skin for Cassidy, which is very interesting looking. We have Buddy Bump Emote, which is kind of cute for May. Just not really with that skin. We have the Rosetta Victory Pose for Venture. We have more Prisms. The Junker Skin for Genji, of all characters. It looks interesting. Not Again, not big fan of Genji. We have this Highland intro for Doomfist. We have this Victory Pose for Moira, which if I continue, or started playing Moira, I would definitely use this because it looks awesome. It's like she's leaning in for uh, offering, but her damage orbs behind her back um, more prisms more credits the uh, sombra skin agent Colomar, which again is just sort of her talon-esque outfit just in blue oh no her hair is different but yeah you can kinda see how the weapon looks and stuff actually as well on it uh, charm spray voice line an emote for Genji, which looks really cool. More prisms. Victory pose for Widow, which doesn't look half bad. A skin for Baptiste, which you can see here. Not bad, the Scorpion skin. We got a highlight intro for Mercy on the, skate, on the scene, which I assume will look different with her mythical skin. More tokens, voice line. More prisms, a talon skin for Brigitte, which actually doesn't look half bad. More prisms, more Overwatch coins, and then we have my favorite thing, the Widowmaker skin for level 80, which you get the little player thing as well, along with the spray. But yeah, you can see how her weapon looks kind of just normal with the blue and orange look. I want to take a look you may be wondering where's mercy if you are mercy main or actually give a shit about mercy in some form welcome to the mythic shop they said this was being added at the end of last season obviously added at the start of the season and all it is is if you want to get any of these skins you can they are currently available Arissa will be available next season, and the Asian Color Moira will be available in two seasons. Um, but if you want to get Mercy as a part of this battle pass, you have to actually get her this season. Because if you don't get her this season, 
you'll have to wait another three seasons. So, we're currently season 10. If you don't get her this season, I at least assume you will not be able to get her again until season 13. So, like, personally, I really want tracers. Just, it looks kind of cool. The mythical... The mythic, like, adventure elf thing kind of looks cool. Wouldn't mind uh, Junker Queens as well for the Zeus skin. But... Realistically, I'm probably just going to get Mercies, and then if I can next season, get Tracers, depending on what the mythic is for next season. But um, the good thing about the Battle Pass this season with this, as you would see, we get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80 prisms. All the, you know, 8th position in the Battle Pass. And in order... To use those eight, you come here, you unlock the base with 50, and then upgrade for 10, upgrade for 10, upgrade for 10, which just unlocks each set of stuff. Because if you really want, you just buy base mercy, which is legit just what you see here. Level 2 gives you the extra hair, the extra hair look, and her purple color scheme, if you want it up on the ponytail with the purple. Level 3 gives you her, like, Anubis mask thing, along with her other staff style. And then level 4 gives you the Reaper mask and the blue colour. So, yeah. In total, it will cost 80. The only one that is cheaper than that at the moment is Hanzo's for some reason. Well, it really does not have a lot. So, let's see, like, 1... Two and then three, which that it actually looks kind of cool, but I can't play Hanzo for shit. But the other cool thing is you can actually go into game and sort of try them out. If we enter practice range, you'll be able to see I'm now in the Mercy skin, which looks pretty cool. The damage boost beam is blue, the heal beam is like a red slash yellow color which looks really cool um whenever this guy dies i'll res him the res animation is different too i think i'm going to end it here just with showing you our mythic once again but hopefully in better lighting like so so if you if you like this hit like button share comment and subscribe Hit the notification bell so you guys know when it's live. I want to upload all that good stuff. This video isn't meant to be anything spectacular. It's just meant to be going through the battle pass. Hence why it's 10 minutes long and I didn't expect it to be. As you see, I don't even have the battle pass yet. I'm getting it on Friday. So might actually take a look at the items a bit more in depth on Friday whenever I start to unlock them. So yeah. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon with something else. Goodbye.